Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be showing you the Buddha side of Budapest. Budapest consists of two sides, the Buddha and the Pest side. There used to be two different cities until 1873 when they became one. They're divided by the Danube River and the Pest side is more bustling, there's more people living there and if you're a tourist that's probably where you're going to stay. The Buddha side is more calm, the castle is housed there and we haven't actually visited the Buddha site that often because most people just spend their time on the pest site. So today we're going to walk around, explore, maybe see an attraction, eat some food as always. So let's go! Right now we're at Roma Etaba and we're about to try some Hungarian food. So we can't wait to try this food, it looks really delicious. But we started with a cucumber salad. This is a great way to start a meal or have it with a big heavy meal. It's got cucumbers, vinegar, and it's got tons of sour cream on top. You could choose to have it with or without, but we went with sour cream. Mm. So this is very light, very refreshing. It's the perfect way to start a hot, heavy meal. It's really delicious. That's not what we're here for. What we're here for is these big, heavy, meaty dishes. So our first entree is Vadesh Maha, which is a beef stew with bread dumplings. Traditionally, for the protein, you can have other types of meat as well, like game meats, like wild boar or deer and things like that. But this one is a beef version. And it looks like it has this thick, kind of brown gravy kind of sauce and bread dumplings, which I can't wait to try. It looks super tender. And like with a lot of Hungarian food, it is topped with sour cream. Let's give it a go. Mm. Hell yeah. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a delicious beef stew. The beef is really tender, super soft. There is a sweetness to the, the sauce Ani was describing earlier. It has a little bit of a sweetness, a tiny bit of a sourness as well. Vegetables, vegetables? Pureed vegetables, yeah. It's really good. It's basically like a gravy and the bread dumplings are really soft flaky so good like i love this kind of food it's absolutely delicious mm -hmm. the meat's so soft apparently it's braised i didn't think it was going to fall apart in my mouth like when you were cutting it but mm. this is delicious the second dish we're going to try is called maha pokert i think it's a beef stew and it comes with cottage cheese pasta. I think usually in other restaurants you get the little Hungarian dumplings with it. The, I think they're called nöködi. But here you get pasta, which I've never had before. I think it comes with, what is this, onions? No, this is definitely like pork lard. Oh yeah, um, the beef stew is quite popular in Hungary. I think as a German, this is what goulash is to me. But I think in Hungary, they're talking usually about the soup when it's goulash, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Let's try it. The sauce of the meat is very sour, and I think it tastes like paprika, like most dishes. The pasta, it's just very creamy, and they go perfectly together, but it's a very heavy dish. The meat's not really as tender as the other dish, so I like the meat in the other one a lot better. We're now at the Fisherman's Bastion, I think that's how you say it, and it's probably one of the most iconic sites in Budapest. It's beautiful and a perfect Instagram spot, because there's loads of people taking pictures, and apparently the walls have been here since the 1700s, and you have a beautiful view from here.
castle district is part of district one in Budapest and there's a bunch of different museums there's obviously the castle there's a fisherman bastion that we just went to and there's also a couple of cool things like the underground labyrinth which is under the castle and apparently it used to imprison Vlad the Impaler yeah Dracula and we visited in the past and it's pretty cool so you should check that out if you are into some scary history So another really cool attraction on the Buddha side is the House of Houdini, which if you don't know who he is, Harry Houdini is one of the most famous escape artists and magicians of all time. And he was from Budapest, actually. We were going to go to the museum and film it and kind of show you what it's all about, but unfortunately you're not allowed to film there, so we decided to not do it, of course. But there's all sorts of attractions on the Buddha side, all sorts of museums, art galleries, and all types of things. So if you ever come to the Buddha side, you should check out some of these things because they're pretty cool. Budapest Castle was first completed in 1265, but the main and biggest part of it was built in the 1700s. And the Hungarian kings used to live here. And now it houses a museum and a national gallery. So if you're a tourist visiting Budapest for the first time, you absolutely have to come to Buda Castle. It's extremely beautiful and intricate. There's gardens everywhere. There's even a place that you can get drinks. There's party music in the background. So I can't really think of a better place to have a beer and relax. It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course you have this wonderful view of Pest on the other side. It's magical. So after lots of walking around the castle district on the Buddha side, we now came a little bit more north to Budapest Garden for a cold beer. It's this park area right next to the Danube River that has 10 restaurants or food trucks. It has a volleyball court behind me. There's a skate park. There's a trampoline park apparently that we haven't seen yet. A cinema and ice cream. There's people here with their kids and dogs and it's just this really cool area where you can chill. Basically one of those carrots that Budapest has all over the city. And especially down the Danube River on the Buddha side, there's multiple ones. I want it to be my mission that I'm going to see each one of those carrots, right? Sure. <laughs> if you know a really good one, you should let us know in the comments so we can check it out. But we're gonna sit here a little bit more longer, go explore and relax after this sunny and hectic day. How much do you like all the gardens? It's definitely one of the best things about this city for sure. Like we've been, lived in cities all over the place and I don't think many cities can compare to Budapest when it comes to that. There's literally beer gardens and parks all over the city and things like this that just exist randomly. Like we just kind of randomly found this when we were searching 
for beer gardens on this side and it's got everything as you said like games movie theater food stands everywhere cocktail bars like all kinds of stuff it's just so cool like there's not many cities that have that kind of stuff like smack dab even in the center or even on the outskirts it's just the best it's perfect for summer that's for sure this is the end of our video of our tour in Buda. We only scratched the surface. We did a lot of touristy exploration. So if you have any suggestions of what we should do in Buda in the future, let us know. But for now, that is the end of this video. So like always, please give this video a like, rate a comment to us. And of course, the most important thing, subscribe and watch our videos in the future. But for now, that is it. And we're gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. See you next time.